When we talk about the teachings of Jesus, when we talk about Buddha, when we talk about Gandhi, and a wide range of masters that teach us and move us, we look at the story of what we have all said about our DNA. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit today because it helps me understand it. There's two kind of choices that one can make about their DNA. One is just do and never asking. They do it because their parents did it. They do it because somebody told them to. They do it because they want to be a good little girl and a good little boy, and that's okay. But when you're 60, that, that conversation gets old. So it's doing and just in that part of doing, but never asking, is this for me? Is this what will give me a deeper sense of belonging? Is this what my soul wants to do? Not just my personality into busy making, do, 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 do. Who said? It's okay if you're following it because it's what is yours to do. But learn how to get further in the practice of not just doing, but asking questions. Does that resonate with you? Because the true DNA, and this is part of what I said about using the new law, the new way of being, letting go of that old nature so the new can be found, is the DNA is what? Let's read it. Demonstrate natural abundance because we are in alignment with ourselves. There's nothing within anything innate or natural about anything on this planet that doesn't have within it the need to be found. I am desiring and longing to be expanded beyond what I know about myself. And in that space, then it requires us to ask questions that we've never asked and to explore ideas that we've never explored.